So another quick video regarding the user buttons or the custom buttons uh, in Visual DJ, where you have by default four on each deck and a slider. So if I, for instance, map this button on the left deck to maybe control an effect, like Mobius, like this, I get an enough button for the uh, for that effect, and I get the exact same thing on the opposite deck. And the same if I, for instance, map, map the slider here. So let's say master value. So now I have a, a master volume slider, or knob, if you will, here. Control is the same as the master volume here. And on the opposite deck, I have exactly the same. So you get the same on each deck when you use the custom buttons and slider. And that's often a very good thing because whatever you want to put on one deck, you probably also want to be able to use on the other deck. But in some instances, you might want to have different scripts over here than you have over here. Uh, or maybe you just want to be able to use eight of them and then handle the deck kind of things on your own inside the script. So is that possible? Well, yes, but it, it takes a little bit of changing of the skin. So if we go into the, uh, the interface section here, to the skins, my default skin here, and I say I want to edit that skin, I get all the files that it consists of. And in this situation, I want to change the pro skin, the pro layout, because that's what I'm currently using, and just the left side and the right side. So if I open the Pro XML in an editor, like this one, which is Notepad++, I get the, the content of this XML file. And I wanna look at the uh, thing regarding the, cu uh, the custom buttons. So I look for area underscore custom. And I get to this section. And here you can see that I have the custom button five here, which is actually the slider. And then I have custom button one, two, three, and four. So that's actually the left side, the left deck. So I want to keep that one and then just change the right side. So I go to the next one. So that's basically the same here, but the other side, the other deck, the right deck. So what do I do here? Well, I basically just use other custom buttons because there are uh, almost an endless amount of them. So instead of using the same ones, one, two, three, four, and five, as on the left side, I simply rename these to higher numbers. So I start here, for instance, say I want this to be 10, also have to put it on the right click function. And this one down here, I say, well, then I guess you're six. I have to change that three places. So here two. And out here. And I want the next one to be seven. Again in three places. And nine. So now instead of having the same five buttons, including a slider, on each deck or each side, I have five different ones. So I save this and I close this one and I pick the new def default edited skin here. And now the first thing you can see is that the right side over here has kind of gone away. So I have the, the scripts I had before over here, but on the right side, there's nothing because now they have been separated. 
So now, for instance, I can start another effect in here. So I can go effect active noise. Sorry. Hit that. So I have this over here now. I have to change that a little bit. Nurse doesn't say anything, but see if it's centered. So I like that. So that's noise. And over here, I still have the Mobius effect. This was my master volume. It still is. So you can see it changes over here. And for instance, over here, I could then put my, my sampler volume master. This one. So now that's separate, and you can see that actually controls same volume master down here. Like that. So now we've changed it so that each deck has its own custom buttons and slider uh, so that you can add more different scripts um, if you need to. So as I said, for most purposes, it's probably a good idea to use the default, where you have the same script on each deck, but in some situations, you might want to split it up like I have just done. So this is one way of doing it.